Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. Today we are going to learn how to analyze Likert scale using uh, Excel. So as you can see, we have a uh, six item Likert scale and it's already coded. If you don't know how to code the Likert scale using Excel, you can go back to one of my videos on coding. I'm going to leave the link to the video below. So, so try to check the description box. Uh, concerning uh, this example that we have, we are going to calculate or compute the sum of Likert scale items, the average, as well as the uh, main or total uh, or overall standard deviation. All right. So let's start with calculating the sum of this Likert scale. So I'm going to uh, click this cell to make it active, and I'm going to go to functions and choose sum and then click OK and then I'm going to uh, select this range that is that of record scale from item 1 to item 6 so then I click OK and then I'm going to double click on this to calculate all the other uh, cases or respondents alright so this is the sum let's see how to calculate uh, the average again so for the average i'm going to go again to uh, functions and choose average all right and then going to highlight i'm going to highlight uh, the items item one to item six and then click ok i'm going to decrease the uh, decimals all right and then double click on this uh, double click this uh, let's say plus uh, icon all right so this is the average now we can go and calculate uh, the standard deviation all right so for the standard deviation again I'm going to go to functions and look for this function uh, STDAV so the estimate standard e deviation based on a sample etc so I'm going to click OK then I'm going to highlight or select the items or range I'm going to click OK I'm going to decrease the decimals alright and then uh, double click this plus icon alright to calculate the uh, standard deviation of each uh, respondent so again if i want to calculate the sum of everything i can just uh, uh, go at the end of the questionnaire and uh, calculate total here okay so uh, using the same formula okay to get the total uh, number of each uh, let's say uh, measurement unit like the sum the average and the, the standard deviation all right uh, so this is how we can calculate this uh, let's say values if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below and if you did help with data uh, analysis try to contact me using one of my social media and see you in another tutorial